Hey everybody, welcome back to Gathering Storm. If you missed the end of the last episode, uh, we were able to capture a settler, which is super cool. And I'm looking for places to settle them. I th Down here is a little bit... I don't know if risky is the right word, but it's desert. It doesn't... It just doesn't look that appealing. Yes, there's some diamond, there's some ivory, there's some rice. That's all fine and dandy. But we're going to be incurring a lot of pressure, and we could deal with that with governors, but it's also kind of far... I'm thinking over here is a much better place. We got fresh water, we got horses, and I'm looking at this tile specifically where we could maybe, like one, two, three, we've got wheat, we've got uh, cattle, we've got horses, one, two, can't get the deer, but we have these extra tiles up here that we could buy, um, and we could do like another, we could do another uh, faith, a holy site up here and get like tons of faith points to just spend on missionaries or whatever and uh, and just go from there. One of the challenges, we don't have a lot of like mountainous <laughs> ranges actually anywhere on this place. I guess this little section would be the, the most dense area, but let's, um, let's throw up a monument in Saskatoon. We just took care of their food and housing situation by getting the, um, getting the Temple of Artemis, which is really cool. Uh, let's see. Stay, yeah, Temple of Artemis gave us plus three era score as well, so we're doing really well on era score. Golden Age, if we can get to 43 or above. And if we're able to uh, pop out a couple of missionaries from our holy sites, then we could go and just convert cities really easy, and we get uh, bonus for that because of our dedication bonus. So I like where things are going. Things are going pretty well, I would say, considering the circumstances that we're in. Uh... Speaking of, this might be dangerous. Hmm. If we... Yeah, I'm not feeling too confident with that. I'm just going to back it up. Just back it up. This is a fight that I don't think we need to be pressing. That's not ours. We've kind of got our exploration down here. The only thing that I'd like to do is stop barbarians from becoming pains in the you-know-whats. Uh, we could do a farm here, which... Wouldn't be bad, but I actually think... Well, I guess we could do... No. Let's do this. Uh, we're gonna buy... We're gonna buy this tile up here. Where are we expanding next? Alright, fine. I'm gonna buy this tile for cheap. And... We'll put a camp there, because we get the amenity from it. Take this kill. And then we're gonna go down and get this iron also. I'm gonna shop... I'm gonna shop my iron a bit. Let me see. What would you give me for, like, 10 iron? What would you give me for 20 iron? I know I could just enter it in there, but... Oh, that's... Oh, that was weird. Okay. Three gold for 30 turns. I like that, actually. Because we're going to be pumping out so much iron here. We're getting, um... We're getting double from this one plot, and then we're going to get an extra from here. We're not going to get the double resources from there because it's not in the tundra, but still, pretty nice. Uh, I could fortify here. See if he wants to fight me, but... Money. All right. If it does not bring you happiness... Will at least help you be miserable in comfort. The uh, the market is quite tempting, but we're actually starting to get the gold accumulation going, um, specifically from that from that iron. And you know what? I'm gonna see if he wants to make a deal on iron as well. He he has his own, so he might not be like, might not be as inclined. Um. What if I do 18 just to round it off? Sure. Take it. Take it. All right. Next up. What do we want to grab here? Niters not that far away. I guess we go horsemen. I guess we go horsemen. We're going to start to accumulate that, but... Maybe we wait until we actually do start it. Uh, I'm going to grab Irrigation. Allows traders to embark. Wouldn't be a bad idea. 
Um, and then we'll go here so that we can build walls. Then we'll go wheel. And then by then, hopefully we're accumulating some horses in our new city that we're going to plop down. And we can grab that. Now, building three specialty districts is possible. Building a pasture uh, is definitely possible. So that could get boosted as well once we get over to this section. Okay, Regina. We need 13 turns till growth, and then we can build another district, which would be lovely. I don't know if I'm going to build this oracle. I don't want to, like, shoehorn myself into faith too hard. Um, what I might do is... Hmm... Do I want to pop out a soldier? Like, I'm trying to think, you know, <laughs> if we have an opportunity to just get rid of America, do we take it? Like, maybe we do. Maybe we do. It's quite tempting. Let's, uh, let's see if we can't build up a little army there. Okay, let's get a camp going. And then uh, let's queue you up to move down. Head on over. I guess... Let's come here to heal by the sea. Got a long trek up there. I'd also like to maybe pop out another settler. And you know what? Maybe I'll switch this. Let's get another settler coming out of here. Um, and in our new city, we'll probably move Magnus as well. How are we doing for great people points? Because I'd really like to get a campus going so that we can get some science. Uh, we have another player that's getting one great scientist point per turn. We could quickly catch up to that. We got faith locked down, which is kind of nice, and... <laughs> okay, thanks. Thanks, buddy. This guy just doesn't really like me, does he? Tries to maximize gold output from trade routes, so... We could get on that. Like says with a high gold return income. I mean, we're getting there. How high are we talking, buddy? Can we send a delegation? <laughs> No, he's declined. That's a couple times he's declined, so I'm over it. I'm over it. Okay, uh, we're healed back up. We're going to keep heading north. And I'd like to upgrade you if I can. Uh, eight more iron. That's fine. I guess that's what we get from selling it all, but it's not a big priority. Okay, let's heal you. Oh, what? Look at this! Just popped out of nowhere. The man who has grit enough to bring about the so afforestation dirty. or the irrigation of a country is not less worthy of honor than its conqueror. We do get plantation benefits from this as well, but I don't think we have a lot of opportunity to build it up there, unfortunately. Hmm. All right, let's fight. I might. Once we're healed, I think I'm just going to station people around here to avoid the, uh, to avoid the barbarian camps spawning. All right, let's get uh, more iron per turn. Apprenticeship has advanced. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. We're going to go in there and take that. And let's upgrade our warrior now. There we go. <laughs> Love it. And look at this. We're Golden Age. It's happening. Golden Age is happening. If I wanted to, I could pop out a missionary here. And we could even get that higher. Although, is there really a huge benefit to it? To going over? I don't think so. I guess once we have it, it's good. Um, doesn't trigger until the next era, but... Hmm. We didn't even need to use our bonus to get there, which is kind of nice. We could start spreading our religion, I suppose, of Gretzky, the wise and powerful Wayne. It's an option. All right, 
He wants to give me iron. He wants diplomatic favor and open borders. Oh, he's given me a lot of gold. But that's all of my diplomatic favor. And we actually don't have a lot of that right now. Hmm. I think I'm going to hold on to it. This is so tempting. I wonder what he would do... ...for open borders. What does he want to come through for? Hmm. Alright, fine. It's not... Yeah, oh, okay, they all want my diplomatic favor. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so we probably have, uh... Are you serious? Divide and rule, a sound motto. Unite and lead, a better one. We probably have one of our first meetings coming up soon. What do we want to do here? All cities with a district receive plus one housing and plus one amenity. Not bad. Oligarchy for extra experience and strength. I like this because there's a good mixture of um, card types. Or autocracy, plus one yields for each government building and palace. I think I'm tempted to go here. Although we wouldn't get the, um, wouldn't be able to use a lot of our production bonuses. Well, some are, actually, that's, that might be incorrect. Let's go here. Because as we, as we are able to, we're going to start getting uh, great scientist points, so why not? Um, I'm going to put this in because you guys pointed out that this does actually kick in, uh, even on existing builds, and we are building one. Let's see. Plus two influence points towards earning city-state envoys, or the first envoy you send to each city-state counts as two. I'm going to go with this for now, because we don't have any city-states that we can send envoys to other than Hong Kong, and that's kind of already set. And let's do this so we start building the great scientist points down there. Yeah. I think that's cool. Let's do it. All right. Civic-wise... We can go ahead and grab drama and poetry. We could eventually start getting up some theater square stuff. This is research construction, which is, if I'm not mistaken. Where is the construction? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay. Fine. Let's do um, drama and poetry. It's boosted. These guys, like, where did you come from? I don't see a camp for them. I'm going to take a round to heal here, and then we'll keep our swordsmen down just for revealing the fog. And I think I'm going to settle here. I don't think it's bad. I think it's actually pretty good, considering. I wonder if I'm better off going here, though. If I go here, I get coast and fresh water. Uh, I give up the cattle. I do give up the cattle. But I would get deer. And I could still buy... I could still buy tiles. For cheap. And it could still get good adjacency bonuses for the holy site. If we want to do that. Um, with the next dedication, we might be able to get the one where we buy... Like civilian units with faith. So like uh, builders and settlers and stuff. So that could actually be really good. And when we get two horses to do that, we'd have amber, we'd have fish, and we would give up some wheat. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? I think so. I think maybe that's better. Okay, Saskatoon. What do we got? I could just pop out a shrine. We don't need the granary yet. Let's do it. And I am kind of keeping in the back of my mind the idea that I may want to... I may want to file some grievances with uh, Teddy here. Let's just stand on the hill. I think that's fine. 
keep an eye out because I'm sure he's going to spam settlers. I'm actually surprised he's not over here right now. He's got a pretty high population. This scout must have been residual from the one that we just took out. Uh-oh. Haboob Dust Storm. So it did fertilize tiles. Oh, man. That could be... Each of us is carving a stone, Good for erecting us. a column, or cutting a piece of stained glass in the construction of something much bigger than ourselves. See what it did here to all these desert tiles? That makes this expansion a little bit better, in my opinion. Five tiles gain fertility. Okay. Now, we could keep going to Washington for a ton of gold. Uh, if we go to Saskatoon, we get food and production in our capital. Yeah. Let's go. And I guess we're going to settle here. Uh, if I settled here too, we actually just realized we would get the double horses. But we miss out on all this fish as well. I think this is I think this is okay. Let's do it. Quebec City. Well, isn't isn't that lovely? Going back to the uh, Saskatchewan thing, we're gonna we're gonna do a, a city that's relatively close to Regina, actually. See that I visited numerous times, and they have a really cool attraction there called the Tunnels of Moose Jaw. This is a real place, in case you're wondering. Tunnels of Moose Jaw uh, is about I think Al Capone, and it's like a tourist thing where you go underground to these old tunnels that. He used to um, get alcohol around in during the Prohibition. So uh, it's a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal, Moose Jaw. Yep, pretty big deal. All right, let's fortify till you're healed. I think I might just put you to sleep here. Just let me know if anything crazy happens. Uh, we'll bring you down. And then Moose Jaw, I think one of the first things we want to build Let's actually take a quick look here. Yeah, see, we're already getting really nice tiles, but if I go here, it's gonna be just disgusting. Like in the best, in the best way. In the best possible way. Um, seeing that we don't have a ton of food around us, I think I think we pop out a granary, and then we just don't have to worry about it for very long. Why do I hear barbarians? Why? Hmm. Do we see them anywhere? I don't see any. Okay, envoy-wise, again... I think I'm just going to hold this. Apparently, the way I was doing this before, I think if I, I just closed that out and we were holding the Envoy. I don't know what I was doing previously, but it's all good. Storm rages on. We're gaining a whole bunch of fertility in here. What? All right. Well, I guess we are going to forward settle then against him because we can take advantage of this. Why not? Like, look at some of these tiles. Look at some of these tiles. We could eventually work this as well. From two cities? I like. Oh, I see. I see. There you are. Alright. So, let's think about this again. I would like to keep the fresh water. If we were to go somewhere like... We're coming down here anyway. So let's start the trip. Oh! Hello, hello, hello. I see it now. A little late, but I do see it now. We should uh, try and escort this when we can, but... He won't be able to get here because of the hill, but we do have to keep an eye on this. And we're going to settle somewhere down here to kind of stop his thoughts of coming in. And because it's all fertilized, hey, bonus. 
Nice bonus. Okay, let's see. The Ancestral Hall is pretty cool because we get an increased production towards settlers. Every uh, new city gets a free builder, which is also kind of nice. And we get a governor title. Cannot be built in the same district with an audience chamber or a warlord's throne. So it's, it's, it's either one of these. Do we want the amenities and housing with governors? Minus two loyalty in cities without governors. Or do we want capturing an enemy city grants 20% bonus production in all cities for five turns. Doesn't really fit with Canada. <laughs> Doesn't really fit. Uh, but this is pretty nice. So if we build a settler here, we can pop it out super quick. And whenever we plop down a new city, we get a free builder. I think, I think we go with that. Which seems absolutely lovely. Suicide over here. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, not sorry. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just realign it. <laughs> uh, okay. Heavy chariots. I don't know what it is. I find that they're a little bit underwhelming. I guess if we could take advantage of their movement, it's nice. But I don't know that we got to really throw down war style, you know? I do have to pop out a unit here. You know what I might do? We have some cash, but I think we're going to... You know what? I'm going to save my cash. I'm not going to rush it. I'm going to save my cash so that I can uh, buy up tiles in the north. And... Yeah, that'll be nice. I do need to pop out a builder. I know we're going to get one on our new city. If we wait until this is established. I don't know. Is that worth... Is that worth waiting eight turns? To pop out a free builder? Ah, it might be. <laughs> but then we just kind of have this guy doing, well, not a whole lot, unfortunately. And I'm still unsure of exactly where I want to settle down here. I could... I could settle here. But then I have a whole bunch of, like, empty tiles. I could settle right where our swordsman is. And then we have a decent tile here. We've got a good tile there. Good tile here. But Regina, one, two, three. So... Overlap isn't terrible, I don't think, but also I want to make sure I can get this tile. If I went, like, here, I could actually eventually get both of these tiles, and copper is within range. So is the diamonds. You know what? Maybe that's, maybe that's where we go. Maybe that's where we go. I'm going to just reveal this. We haven't been in this area. It's kind of a cool little place. Actually, it's really cool with the mountains. I don't know if they're protected on this side too. I don't think so, but that's really just gorgeous. Breathtaking, if you will. Absolutely breathtaking. All right. I'm going to come over here with some backup. Let's... um. We'll keep these guys linked, we'll do this fight, and then we'll place the Settler, so that we benefit from the, uh, from the Builder. Archery... I should... Just put these guys out somewhere, so that they can keep the map revealed. Alright, come north. The poets have been mysteriously silent. Very nice. All right, I think we keep these the same. Uh, hold on. What am I going to build up here? I think we're going to build our encampments. Uh, Science-wise, we don't have any really nice adjacency bonuses except for here. And it's an expensive tile to buy. But... I do want to get science going. Like, I really would like to get science going. Let's see. I think we'll save our encampment for Regina, because that seems to be our production capital. Could do a theater square. Get that culture going. Hmm. Hmm. 
we actually benefit more from the commercial hub than we do the science because we get a couple of plus twos, but the science will add up. It will add up. I'm going to do it. It's a little expensive, but I think it's fine. We should crush these guys. We're way stronger. So if they want to attack, that's fine. We're on the hill. Bring it. And what do we do next? We could go here. We get another envoy that we would just hold on to. So it's kind of like not that amazing. Build two campus districts, and this will get boosted, which I think is going to be the plan. It's another governor title. Uh, let's hit games and recreation. Doesn't look like we're going to hit the construction bonus for it, but that's okay. Okay. We're going to continue to try and help our buddies there. This is risky if this thing erupts right now. Could happen at any time. Metal versus sticks. Hmm, I wonder. Uh, just sleep. Oh, look at this, man. This little area is just rich. Very cool. Very risky, of course, because of the whole lava situation. Let's finish this off. Oh, interesting. Oh, we could pillage our own road. Yeah, that's that's a hard pass from me. Looks like they've got it under control. I'm going to come over here just to provide some extra vision. All right. Another plus three era. We didn't even need to do anything with our missionaries that we talked about. But... It's good. We've got it under control. Um, so yeah, I think like we said, we're going to go in here. Where did I see that we would get all three of these? One, two, maybe here, right? Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three. Diamonds. Copper. And they'll have some okay tiles to improve or to, to utilize I should say I don't know if it's the strongest city place Machu Picchu got built that's good I think we'll probably sleep them here oh look at that okay cool I'm just gonna send these guys I guess we're just going to send them up here now. It's going to take a while, but that's fine. I really feel like maybe this is maybe this is the time to make a go on George if I can pop out some units, man. I don't know. So much up in the air. Okay, let's alert when something happens. Ancestral Hall's almost done. Ancestral Hall is done. All right, one, two, three, one, two, three. Again, these are really far out, so I shouldn't really consider those as being like that amazing. Um, and maybe by settling here, I take benefit more of the tiles that have stuff going on instead of these dead zones. We'd still have diamonds in three. We'd have one of these in three. The main thing is that we're forward settling against uh, Teddy. So I think we're going to do it. All right, Hamilton. Oh, I got a good name for you, buddy. All right, we're going to go with uh, Flynn Flon. It's a real place. Super, I think there's like less than 300 people there or something. But not in Civ. They're going to be huge.
They're gonna be massive. We got that builder. This is like good timing. We can uh, improve this already. And I'm thinking with you, we're probably gonna need, just based on our surroundings, <laughs> we are probably going to need the granary. The water mill, rice and wheat give extra food. But uh, you can see that's not really going to happen. So let's get a granary up there. And let's get you healed. In Regina. Uh, we could use the water mill there. We could, but I think let's get maybe... Ah, it's so tempting to just... Uh. Can we only have a maximum of three districts? I should actually check that out because if that's the case, that means I can't get the... I can't get the campus and the encampment up. I could potentially just get rid of our holy site because this one's like more than handling business. If we do another one here, we're just going to be overflowing with faith. And maybe that's the play? Assuming that I can remove them? Uh... Yeah. Anyways, those are my thoughts. I'll tell you what, I just realized <laughs> how much time has flown by. I feel like I haven't done, like... God, there's just... It, I love that there's so many decisions to make all the time. It's, just, it's awesome. It's awesome. Oh, look at this. Grant's a free builder. All builders can build one extra improvement. Must be built on desert. 15 turns only. 15 turns only. Ugh, tempting. Anyways, let me know what you guys think, because I am open to suggestions here um, on how to handle the next district we build in Regina. I'm really open to suggestions, and I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. We've got uh, Flin Flon set up, we've got Moose Jaw going on over here, he's got the granary that's going to be happening, we got a campus coming up in the north. We probably want to do a, another holy site here, and uh, because we have a golden era coming up, I hope that we are a- I don't know if it's the same every time or not, but if we can make the dedication where you can buy settlers and builders and stuff with faith, pfft, look at this. We're going to be- this whole section will be ours very soon, and even down into here. Um, the other thing I'm considering is taking out Teddy, who is- is he maybe getting attacked right now? It's possible. Um, yeah, anyways, let me know your thoughts. So I actually, really quick, I did read in the uh, Civilopedia that you can get a district with- three additional population every time. So I think we'll probably go science unless we decide that taking down Teddy is really valuable. And then I maybe we'll go to the encampment, pop out a bunch of units here and try and take them out. Um, so I'm not sure which way to go. If you're wondering, the reason I don't look up the Civilopedia while we're recording, that's one thing that we can't show. Um, so in case you missed that before, but now you know. Anyways, thanks so much. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.